Alright, welcome back to Pack Manufactured, a series all about Pac-Man clones. In this episode we're looking at Pack 3 by an unknown developer, released for the PC in 2016. Now isn't this the most gimmick heavy thing that we've featured for a while? Um, so what we've got here is a completely 3D Pac-Man clone uh, that takes place on a six-sided cube. Each side of the cube features its own maze, but they're all interconnected. You can basically clear off the sides and then go onto a different maze. Um, which is a pretty cool idea, I've got to say. I'm really digging that as a concept. You use the left mouse button to plot your path for your Pac-Man, and you use the right mouse button to rotate the cube. Um, there's some issues with this, unfortunately, and it's mainly due to the mouse control control scheme. Uh, yeah, moving using the mouse to move Pac-Man around isn't great. You basically hover over the, uh, the play field and you generate a little green dotted line, um, when you left click, uh, Pac-Man will then follow that line to its end. Um, but what you find is you end up sort of clicking loads to sort of like do the finite movements and it's not particularly comfortable. I was giving myself a bit of RSI doing that unfortunately, which is uh, not great. Not a really comfortable way of playing the game unfortunately. Um, I think what would be better is if this had controller support and then you could use the analog sticks. Uh, you could use the left analog stick for movement and the right analog stick for control of the camera and, you know, movement of the cube, essentially, which would uh, work quite well, I think. But, yeah, the mouse layout, not the best, it's got to be said. But, you know, otherwise, implementation is pretty solid. Um, it's certainly very interesting, certainly very unique. I love the gimmick of uh, having a completely rotatable cube with loads of mazes on each side. Uh, that is just a fun, fun idea, and... Unfortunately, the execution isn't great. Some of the mazes on each of the sides uh, are, are pretty solid with lots of different um, paths to follow and they're all interconnected so you can use them pretty well. You can play strategically and move around and escape from certain corridors. Uh, some of them unfortunately do feature dead ends, which is bad design as far as I'm concerned. You shouldn't really hit a dead end in any Pac-Man maze. Uh, and some of them are pretty lazy. There's literally one which is just two corridors that, are, that cross over and that's it. Um, there's another one that's just a great big square with loads of pills in and that's pretty dull as well. Um, just sort of, It just means you're sort of doing lots of busy work trying to get all the pills and it's just taking ages. It's, it's not great fun unfortunately. There is the semblance of a good idea in here but the execution ain't great basically. Some of the sides feature some decent mazes that are well worth exploring, but unfortunately because of the control scheme, it's a little bit uncomfortable. So it's a bit like, what do you want from this, you know? If, you, if, if this is a curiosity that you're interested in checking out, go and do so, but don't expect to stick with it for too long because it's not particularly comfortable and some of the maze design is a bit poor.